What's up, pals? So, my name is Daniel Bandian, and I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of our Pals TV, The Experience Podcast. This is a podcast where we discuss topics around positivity, appreciation, love, and support. So our aim is to promote great energy and vibes through this podcast, as well as our We Are Pals community platform. So I just want to mention that every Friday, with the exception of this podcast, we will be releasing a new episode of the Experience Podcast with a different guest and a different topic each time. If you would like to learn more about the We Are Pals platform, visit sfsumarketing.com slash wearepals and sign up to be a member of our community. And make sure to sign up for our newsletter, Pals News, for any updates on our community. With that said, everything is going to be mentioned in the link below. And now, without any further ado, put your hands together for James Francara. Hey, James. So, oh, I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm doing great today, actually. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. I just want to say, like, you know, thank you so much for coming in. Like, you know, it really means a lot for you to be able to, you know, come in and then to, like, you know, share your stories and then, like, you know, discuss positivity. So I'm really excited to do that. It's like, it's going to be so much fun. Let me know when you're ready. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. Yay. Perfect. Hey, sounds great. So the first question that I wanted to ask was, so what is your current occupation and what do you do? Yeah. Um, so I'm an audio engineer and artist manager. So pretty much I help artists fix their audio. So it's ready to be, re to be released on all music streaming platforms. Um, so like Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon. Um, you can think of it as a barber, but for music, it's a little weird to say, um, but pretty much like I clean up the audio so, so it sounds good. Um, as an artist manager, I help elevate artists to the next level. So I help them manage their day-to-day -day tasks and help them to be known throughout the music industry and the world. Um, and I am the main point of contact for all business inquiries for the artist. Sounds pretty good. Awesome. Now, the next question that I wanted to ask was, what are your current career goals and aspirations in life? And how are you hoping to reach them? Yeah, so that's actually a great question. Um, my current goal is to actually to be able to live off of music alone. It sounds easy, but it's not. Um, a lot of work has to be put into it, obviously, like any other job. Um, it takes time um, to get to where I want to be in that. Uh, but the reason why I'm in this industry is so that I can help artists showcase their art with the world. Um, and if I have that in mind, if I'm doing it for other people, um, which is why I'm in it and why I love doing it, eventually the money will come. Um, so that isn't really one of my concerns um, as long as I'm doing what I love to do. Um, in order for me to reach these goals, I must work hard, obviously, uh, be patient and be persistent because everything takes time to develop. Pretty great answer. You know, really great answer. Really love your answer so much, dude. Really great to talk. Awesome. So with that being said, would you say that maintaining a positive and strong mindset is especially important to reach your goals? Oh, definitely. Uh, this industry isn't for everyone. Um, people expect to make it in the industry fast, but it all takes time, honestly. Uh, being positive about little wins and keeping a positive outlook on your life can make things easier for you um, to keep moving forward, you know. Um, it's always important to find the good things in life so that you can work um, better and with purpose. It's hard to be strong-minded. Uh, there are a lot of different factors that, that can alter your head. But it's important to make sure you know what your goals are and what you stand for so that you can keep moving forward. Awesome. So the next question that I want to ask was, since you work with music, would you say that there is a connection between music and positive vibes? Oh, for sure. Connection between music and positive vibes? There's definitely one. 
Um, for example, people play music at parties um, because it brings positive vibe into the space. You know what I mean? Um, I personally feel like without music being played or without music, it wouldn't really connect you to, it's hard to connect with other people. That's just me personally. Um, I think music is a universal language um, and people around the world can speak through music, you know? Um, so just being able to connect with other people, um, being able to bring positive vibes to a certain space um, is really important. Um, and it can make a certain feeling, it can, music can bring a certain feeling um, at a certain time. Um, and that's what artists are doing for people, right? They want you to feel a certain feeling at a certain time. Um, so for sure, there is definitely a connection between music and positive vibes. Awesome. Great explanation. Really like that. It's like, it really like, you know, dives deep into the connection. So it's like, you know, I really like the way that you elaborated on that. So very good discussion on that one. From your personal experience, what would you say is the importance of maintaining positivity? How has being positive helped you in the long run? Uh, like I said before, positivity brings happiness and good karma into your life. Um, sorry, karma into your life. If you look at the positives, you most likely will be a happier person and bring positive experiences into your life. You know what I mean? Um, the same goes for negativity. If you think negative, you're bound to bring negativity into your life um, and negative experiences. And I don't know why someone would want that. Um, so yeah, I, it, that doesn't help you grow as a person in the long run. Um, so why bring that to yourself? Um, being positive has given me so many opportunities to grow, not only in the industry, but as a person, um, because I've been so positive about my jobs and the work that I do, I have met so many amazing artists. Um, I've been referred to by a lot of friends and family, which definitely helps me out in the long run. Awesome. Awesome. So what I want to ask is. What are ways that you maintain a positive mindset? Do you have any advice or recommendations on how to have a positive mindset? Yeah, so I just, I wouldn't say I just started. Um, I think that I've always had a positive mindset, um, but as of recently, maybe like two or three months ago, I started to have a routine uh, that I do in the morning. Um, and because of that routine, it's, bring a lot of, it's brought a lot of, um, what can I say, I, blessings, I guess. Um, so that routine in the morning helps get my mind and my body right before I start the day. Um, so what I usually do is as soon as I wake up, um, as soon as I wake up, I read a chapter of a nonfiction book. Um, I pray. And then after I'm done with those two things, I do a workout for at least an hour to an hour and a half in the morning. Um, this is before I do anything else. Um, and it's, it's helped. It's helped me within the past two, three months. Um, I usually like to challenge myself every once in a while. Uh, to make sure that my mind is in the right place and that I can actually mentally accomplish tasks. Um, so again, that's, that's one of the biggest factors recently uh, that has helped me be positive. Um, it's also important to, for me, it's also important to drink a lot of water and eat healthier. Um, I've been following Whole30, which is a certain diet, um, and it has definitely helped me become more active and a more aware person. Um, I also enjoy my alone time as well as going on drives alone to clear my head and, and maintain that positive mindset. 
Uh, sometimes you need to be alone to, again, clear your mind um, with whatever is happening and just to think and reflect back on what's going on in your life. Um, so that's what I like to do. Um, I suggest that people do try to work out at least three to five times a week and eat a little healthier, even if that means cutting out sugars or fast food um, to not only fix your mental, but to help with your health and bring more positivity into your life. Um, it, it doesn't even have to be something so hard. Just cut out like one piece of food for now. So like bread or rice per meal. Um, if you can do this, I think that you can do anything. Pretty good. Pretty good. So the final thing that I wanted to ask was, do you have any um, final takeaways with regards to positivity? Oh, definitely. Um, first of all, always look at the bright side of things. Um, even if things aren't going well for you, um, things will get better eventually. And if you have that mindset, you can definitely accomplish all of your goals, um, even if you don't think so. Um, honestly, just be positive. It's, it's hard to do. Um, and it's a, it'll be a hard switch for your head. Uh, to make that change, but it's something that's, it's doable. Um, so be positive, uh, appreciate what you have and who you have, love one another, and support yourself and everyone around you. And as long as you do those things, I feel like everything in your life will have that switch and you will see that switch um, from having either a negative experience to having a better experience. Um, so yeah, again, be positive. Things will get better eventually. Um, don't be too down on anything. And if you are down, again, think positive, take time to yourself and reflect um, and just get your work done. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I wanna say thank you so much for taking the time, you know, to meet with us, you know, I had a really wonderful discussion about positivity and I wish you the best of luck on all of your future endeavors. So I definitely agree with your story and it is important for our audiences to hear this. And I really hope that, you know, that with the stories that you share and all your advice with regards to positivity, I really hope that, you know, this, these can all inspire audiences, especially our fellow pals, especially at a time right now. So since COVID is happening right now, it's like we know that times are hard. And I feel that like, you know, positivity and a strong mindset are necessary to help us go through these hard times. And it's not even just through times of COVID. It could be like times of general and anything. So definitely, I really like your take on positivity and strong mindsets. And I really hope that, you know, it can inspire, you know, our audiences. And like I said, our own fellow pals. So before we go, I just want to mention that James Frank Hera is also an audio engineer, okay? He does sound mixing and mastering for $80 a song. His prices may be low, but I encourage you all to hit him up ASAP before his prices go up. So make sure to contact him at jmsfrankhera95 at gmail.com and make sure to follow his Instagram at JMS Audio. With that said, take care you all. And remember, we are your pals. We are always there for you, my fellow pal. So I just want to let you know, stay tuned for our next episode, and I will see you all again. This is your host, your fellow pal, Daniel Bandian, signing off for today. You take care, you all. Bye-bye. Thank you.